What's up, everybody? Uh, Jack Farr here on behalf of Box to Box Football, I'm joined by James, and we're going to be reacting to Neymar's new contract with Paris Saint Germain until 2025. Now, I think something I should probably say from the start is just because he signed the contract does not mean he's going to fulfill the contract. So I'm going to probably make a couple of points here about maybe this will be Neymar's club for kind of, you know, the vast majority of these kind of peak years of his career. Um, he's 29 years old. So taking us through to 2025, we're in 2021 right now. He's going to be, you know, 33, 34 uh, by the time that this contract comes to an end. Supposedly around £500,000 a week. So I believe that's just over €600,000 a week. And obviously there is a lot to talk about and a lot to break down um, here because this has implications for the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo, across the board. Um, and obviously how it's going to affect PSG going forward. So... James, first of all, £500,000 a week, Neymar, new contract at PSG. What are your kind of reactions here? Um, surprise, because I just feel with a player like Neymar, I want to see him week in and week out playing in the best leagues. I want to see him in the Premier League. I want to see him in, the, in, like in La Liga. You know, unfortunately, playing in France, and I'm nothing against playing in, in, in France. People call it the Farmers League. To me, it's an underrated, it's a very, very underrated league who, which produces the best players. You look at some of the best players in the world today, look at where teams go to fish the best talent. It's from the French league. But I just feel like I don't get to see Neymar as much. If you don't watch the French league, you don't hear too much of, oh, Neymar won this big game for Paris Saint-Germain because Paris Saint-Germain are predicted to win every single game. But my biggest thing with Neymar signing this deal is that he signed it because I think he felt in his heart of hearts in the first part of his contract, in his first three years or four years that he's been with Paris Saint-Germain, he has not fulfilled the obligation that he was told to when he signed in the first place. Right. And I think, I believe that he is a man of his word. And his aim was to come to PSG and deliver them the Champions League, which he hasn't. And there were many different reasons behind that. But a lot of them has been down to Neymar and injuries and all, like, all, like, all stuff about all like also about his attitude and all sorts of stuff i just feel that he would feel wrong leaving psg after they went through all that hassle invested all that money for him not to deliver that it would stay in his legacy so i think he's staying for that reason and doing his best to try to deliver them that cover the champions league uh, i agree with you I, th I think i think it's a lot more kind of political and tactical move as well and what what i mean by that um and obviously i I know I think sometimes I get painted as a bit of a bit of a Neymar hater, uh, but I think he's got a very um, he's got one hell of a team behind him and everything he does, he does purposefully. I don't think he does anything because of, you know, the love of football or for a new challenge. I think he's trying to achieve certain benchmarks and things that he can then when he hangs up his boots, he can go, you know what? Cool. I did my thing. Now, for me, he's won a Champions League. He's won La Liga. He's won Liga. He's done all those kinds of things. So as far as I'm concerned, the next two big things on his list there are he wants to get a Ballon d'Or and I think he wants to win a World Cup with Brazil. Now, who is going to have the best chance of winning a Ballon d'Or if you take Paris Saint-Germain to a Liga title, which they should really win every year. I mean, this year we'll wait and see. And their first Champions League in however long, right? Ever, 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 ever. ever. So there you go, ever. Um, couple that potentially with maybe a Copa America success or, like I've said, more importantly, a World Cup success at Brazil. I think that is going to be Neymar going, thanks very much. Yeah, I'd love to see Neymar in the Premier League. I mean, he'd be the ultimate villain. And one thing we know about Neymar more than anything is if people are going to start kicking him and attacking him, we're going to see the best form of Neymar. But for me, as much as, OK, it's fascinating because this is still the world record transfer and it's a huge contract and all this kind of stuff, what does this mean for all the other players? So my initial opinion now is that I think see you later, Kylian Mbappe, he's gone to Real Madrid. What do you, what do you think, James? Uh, uh, the Mbappe thing to me is a weird one because I genuinely, genuinely don't know how it's going to go. We, yeah, we talked about Real Madrid, but Jack, Real Madrid are in serious debt right now. Could they really afford to sign Kylian Mbappe? Because how much is that going to cost them? Let's be honest. That's a world record deal right there. So I don't think that he's going to leave straight away. I think probably the best thing I think probably could do is maybe get him on a final year of his contract. I, or or is he going, going into the final year of, of his deal? 
So this summer, I believe, is his uh, is his final year. Um, so, and what he said to them was, "Look, I'm giving you some warning, um, so that if 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 this were to happen, then you know you, it, it's your loss. I'm not would just going to spring but, this on you." But but PSG have so much money. Would they not sacrifice having one more goal, one more stab at the Champions League and winning it, and then making a loss on Mbappe, which is going to be a huge loss, but. Champions League with with all that success is everything to the, to this club. It would be the biggest loss in football history in terms mm -hmm. of like that kind of a, that kind of business sense. So it would be one hell of a risk. And and James, I know this will sound very anti football of me, but winning a Champions League and kind of you know the re remuneration and the reputation you would get that compared to selling a player like Kylian Mbappe for yeah around 150 to 200 million, it's absolutely no contest which one gets you more if that if that kind of makes sense champions it's, it's it's always the champions league no matter how much money does not buy you the history of winning a champions league in in a way okay man city are gonna win it yeah but look how long it took them to actually win win, win the whole thing if they get but, their name on that title and mbappe is involved like i'm pretty sure you would take that because that's to, to oh, say that. to say to say that money doesn't you know mean more than the champions league how have PSG won the Champions League if this were to happen in the future? Yeah, but, it's yeah, totally yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but Jack, they've spent all this money for what reason? To win it. It means all. But regardless it's also, of how much money it is. That it's, means... It's also to remain sustainable. Um, and it's also a huge, huge risk. You know, we... we I mean... PSG have really kind of built a reputation for themselves now, unfortunately, where, yeah, okay, they 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 don't do it when it matters most. And I think that, okay, signing Neymar, that's fine. But, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a lot of money to give to two guys. And I don't know how much better PSG are going to be by just retaining them than if they potentially sell them and then bring through some other people using Mauricio Pochettino and his kind of coaching techniques and styles. That's That would be my only thing. I mean, James... This is a team that might not win Liga this year. Lille, uh, 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 supposedly, you know, if if everything stays the way it is, Lille are going to beat PSG. It just, it wouldn't make sense to me personally. That's all I would say. But I just want to get back to Neymar. Yeah. And Neymar's career to me is a weird one because I'll never ever doubt Neymar's talent. We always have this discussion on who's better, Eden Hazard or Neymar. I don't think it's even a contest. Neymar's but better. Just Chelsea fans, just uh, just leave it there. But when you look at Neymar's career, there's a lot of stains there. Like Brazil, Brazil won a Copa America without him. From the point of view, this guy's injuries to stop this guy from maintaining this type of mythical status. The 2014 World Cup, the exact same thing. Injuries in his way. How many times has injuries played in his way during Paris Saint Germain during during his time in Paris Saint Germain? Neymar will leave his career, in my opinion, being an all-time great. If Neymar retires today, he will be an all-time great. But it's always going to be just a big stain of what if? What if you would have stayed fit? What if you didn't do this at this time? I think he's he's a worse version of Ronaldinho for me. Seriously. Uh, and I mean that from a standpoint of... Yeah, okay, he's a great entertainer, and yeah, okay, it's been fun, and yeah, okay, this, and yeah, okay, that. But I look at somebody like what Ronaldinho was able to do and accomplish in his career. And Jack, like, Jack, you do realize that Ronaldinho only had four good world class years. That's that's fine by me. I mean, if Neymar's spending the majority of his career in Paris Saint Germain, not winning European titles, I'll take four world class Ronaldinho years, especially if they're going to be at a club like Barcelona. You know, yeah, Neymar. Neymar also had amazing, not up to what Ronaldinho did, but Neymar had outstanding years at Barcelona where the success was a lot more than what Ronaldinho did, like as overall team success, but not individual was. I, I, I would also, I mean, I mean, you know, that that is fine. Um, but for me, that's why I go back to this is a very calculated and political um, kind of decision from Neymar and his team. Um, I do think that Neymar believes his best chance at a Ballon d'Or is going to be by delivering Paris Saint-Germain their first ever Champions League and, you know, winning Liga and then maybe a World Cup in the future. Do, do you feel Neymar's sole concentration is just to win a Ballon d'Or? I think, I, I honestly believe that, that 
that he wants to be put in that Messi Ronaldo category. Now, as far as I'm concerned, he's obviously he's way off that. You know, if we if we go back in kind of the history of you know the whole history of football, there are there are plenty of names that I would put um, closer to Messi and Ronaldo that before I would put Neymar there. But I think that he needs needs and wants that recognition. Um, now, I don't think your hunger for winning a Champions League goes after you win one, but I think when you've done it, there is that certain like you're you're all stressed and you just kind of go. Oh man, I'm so glad I've won that one now. I don't have to kind of worry about it, like winning it again. I'd like to, but it's not as much as how I felt before I won my first one. Does that make sense? Yeah, but again, I feel like it's different in in like different metrics. Not every great player. There's so many great players who didn't win the Champions League. Ronaldo, R9, you know how I feel about him. He never won the Champions League, but that will never ever taint his his legacy. The problem is with Neymar is that his sole purpose in PSG was to win the Champions League. And that's where will be his biggest fall. He cannot leave PSG without winning that. Because at the end of the day, that's what people are going to point at him. I feel like Neymar is such a villain to a point. People are waiting for his downfall. People are waiting for his failure. They and want him. Is, is Neymar PSG's version of Buffon? No, 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 not yet. Buffon's dead. No, no, no. B Buffon's on a different level. He's desperate. He's. Yeah. I just think we should just give him a Champions League medal <laughs> now. I don't love seeing new money do well. Um, you know, I, li I like teams um, that historically have, have have been good through the traditional methods of being a good football team um, and then have kind of earned, you know, earned that respect from then and then built up. You know, a lot of these new teams coming in with new money, I don't like to see them do well because, yeah, it does spoil football. But I think, the you know, generally speaking, people need, there needs to be a general acceptance of that. And that's what I've reached now. I've reached football acceptance of the business side taking over so drastically that it's more about what the decision makers are making at a football club than it is on the football pitch and for me I don't know if I would have given Neymar all that money um, over all that time period um, I would personally have invested and pushed a lot harder to keep Mbappe because I still maintain and I might be wrong hey I might be wrong but I still maintain it's one or the other. They don't get to keep both. Because James, how much do you think Kylian Mbappe is going to ask for financially if Neymar has five hundred thousand pounds? I d personally, I don't think Mbappe asks for as much Neymar does. I, I, I don't. I, I feel like ne Mbappe is so young at this at this moment on. This is not going to be his first big contract or his or his final um big contract. Just, He's still in like, the middle of many more contracts to come. This is Neymar. Let's be honest. This is Neymar's last big contract. You know. He is, what, does that say, what, what does that say about Neymar and Mbappe? You know what I mean? Like, no, no, I, I, I don't. No, I don't. I don't mean. I don't think it's, it says much because every player, no matter who you are, your final contract, your final big contract, you want to get as much money as you possibly can. I don't blame Neymar for that. Mbappe in twenty, in probably 10, 15 years time for his final big contract, he's gonna want the biggest paycheck he can possibly get. So I don't. But, I, 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 I don't think it changes How old much. Mbappe right now? Mbappe, Mbappe is 22? 22. Like, I just, I think, I don't know. I think that, I think that, I don't know what Mbappe is like as a, as, as a kid. I don't know who his agents are. I don't know how that would be received, but... I think that they're like you know, James. In terms of in terms of importance to the team, do you think Neymar is above Mbappe? And if yes, so, by, yes, how, by yes, how much? Yes. By how much? Um, I feel like in in different ways they contribute, but I I just feel with Neymar, he has the ability. Like Mbappe also has it, but in tight spaces, in in a moment where the game is going nowhere, Neymar could literally just in a flick turn the game on its head. Yeah, we it's, haven't seen that as much, but Mbappe is amazing and will develop that. But Mbappe sometimes needs time, sometimes needs someone to set him up while Neymar could literally just win it by himself. I I just think oh no, that's it's it's this is not what I mean, but I'm struggling for the right right phrase. Um I feel like that there there are more people like Neymar who can who can do the creative side and, and it, set Mbappe away. Then there are people who can do what Mbappe does on I, football. Jack, I don't think that there's there's to me only a few handful of players who have that ability to make something out of nothing. Hazard had it, Messi has it, 
Ronaldo has it. That's probably all. There isn't too many players who have that. Oh, and Neymar has it. You, you, I just, I, f f for me, it's the wrong. I think they've put their the eggs in the wrong basket. That's all I would say. If if I was the director of football at Paris Saint Germain, I would have given Mbappe the big deal. I would have really been keen to keep him, and I would have attempted to sell um, to sell Neymar. Now, like I've said, I'm making this situation up. We could, by the end of, but by before the Euros, we could have announced that Kylian Mbappe has signed a new deal worth 400k a week, 500k a week, and then here we go again. Let's roll the dice again with these two guys. But then I would ask you, James, well, where's the rest of the, where's the rest of the money going for this team? Like, you know, th this is a team that's always been top heavy. I feel like they've they've leveled it out, and I, I think this kind of gives you an end to maybe talk about Ramos, but you know. Is this is this is this the way Paris Saint Germain want to spend their money? Have they not tried this Neymar experiment now for several years and it's not quite worked out? Um, it's a weird one to me because I feel like PSG are also to blame for this. In football, this is this isn't basketball where there's five players on a pitch and maybe you can have two outstanding players and two and three other average players and win. No, you need eleven talented players. And I, I look at this PSG team and I see a lot of bare bone players. Like as like as the striker, Moise Keane, let's be honest, he's not gonna he's he's a good player, but it's not gonna take you to that level. Right. Akardi, I don't think he's ever, ever been at that level. You know? Di Maria, I'll give it to you. Di Maria's all like always talented. I look at the midfield, has nice parts to it, but I think they need that number ten, that like that bit of creativity to get the ball out of Neymar's feet. Um, full backs uh, need, like, need to be looked at. Yes, There's big. areas in this team that if they fix, could not only win the Champions League, but could dominate it for years to come. But if they just make the right investments in different areas. I think that's why I'm saying that, let's say you do put £900,000 a week on two players, right? And then you bring in somebody like Sergio Ramos. Now, I don't think Sergio Ramos is going to ask for any less than like £150,000, £200,000 a week. Even at this stage of his career, he's going to go, look, guys, I'm Sergio, I'm Sergio Ramos. Um, especially if you're bringing in any other talented players, let alone the kind of bigger contracts that you've still got a lot of your other players on. I just don't know how much... A room to manoeuvre there is for this PSG team. So, as far as I'm as far as I'm concerned, James, I think that Mbappe may leave this summer if they can't work a deal out. Then, with that money, because James, let's not you know lie to ourselves here. Kane and Icardi is such an incredible drop off from Zlatan and Cavani. You know what I mean? Like, so so maybe striker is a spot that that they need to that they need to work on. Fullback, I could not agree with you more. I mean, fullback has been shocking for a while. Midfield, I agree. Some nice pieces, and then obviously defensively, okay, it's fine. But lots of kind of unproved commodities there, apart from maybe Marquinhos and even goalkeeper. I know. Kempembe, uh, Kempembe, Marquinhos. I think the the centre backs are fine. Yeah, I mean, I like Marquinhos. I'm still not, I'm still not bought in yet fully on um, on Kimbembe. Kimbembe is incredible, Jack. He's incredible. Um, but uh, Kaylor Navas as well. A lot of people I, like him. I'm not really his biggest fan either. So for me, spending all this money on Neymar potentially to not make kind of a return on your investment, and that's still huge risk of not winning the Champions League. I think that represents a bad decision from PSG. I would have thrown all the money at Mbappe. I what PSG need to do is to stop concentrating on, yes, give him a, a, a Neymar the contract. I don't have, I, I don't mind that because I guarantee this, they were like, when Neymar said, when Neymar wants to sign a deal, of course they're going to do it. It's Neymar, you know? Get the right pieces around Neymar. Get the right players around him. Maybe a Felipe Coutinho as a 10. Maybe could you find another striker like, a, I don't know, maybe like a Benzema, someone, someone close to that sort of, like, like talent there. Obviously, fullback. There's different fullbacks about their link with Hector Bellerin. Not really sure about that. But <laughs> um, get the right pieces around Neymar. They can win the Champions League. It it has, hasn't been like they're miles off. They're a game off. They're a few chances off. It's always been this close. They get the what right about, pieces there, and they so will succeed. So I have two questions. What about Paul Pogba, Paris Saint Germain? I think that would be a sick fit for them. But the question is, would Paul Pogba want to leave the Premier League to go to PSG? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you know? that's true. 
Um, and then my other question for you, um, does Neymar sign this deal because he really wants to? And like I've said, it's kind of a tactical thing. And like you've said, it will be a failure if he doesn't win the Champions League. Or did he talk to some of the other big clubs and they were all kind of like, sorry, dude, we can't pay you the money we want that you want? I feel like if Neymar is available, every team are going to go from regardless of I, I, people need to stop this perception that, oh, like, oh, like, oh, yeah, Neymar's prima donna. Just because he's a prima donna, teams don't really want him. No, I'm not here now. Manchester United, if Neymar was available there, they're going after him. If, if Man City, if Neymar is available right now, they're going after him. If, if Neymar was available to uh, Real Madrid, they're going after him. If Neymar was available to Barcelona, they're going after him. But, but James, you're are, are you not the same guy that earlier in this video said that, that you're not sure that they'll get Mbappe because they don't have the money? For some weird reason. Mean? Like, no, like but, no, but no, but I'm the no, but I'm also. I, I said if Neymar is available, they would want to get him. But but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like let let's say he is available. Let's say he did speak with you know speak with people. I mean you know let let's not forget here that the full extent of this contract with 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 Neymar is going to be over a hundred million pounds from from start to finish. You know that's a lot of that's a lot of cheese. Uh I'm not bothered about the figures because Neymar is probably going to generate them so much money from just his image alone. So that's uh, so. Um, he, um, so, so. He, he probably still has his own image right. So I'll just put that out. It, it, but but Neymar being at your football club is going to generate you so much money. But again, guys, we, we we've been chatting for a bit. I need to know. I need you guys to let me know what you think about this. Was Neymar signing this deal? Is it a good thing for his career? Is it a bad thing for his? Um, his career. Where does he go from here? Will Paris Saint-Germain finally win that Champions League? Let us know. Comments down below. And if you want to name at, at your team, Arsenal, Tottenham, ugh, Chelsea, also, Real also, Madrid, Dortmund. My question too, what's going to happen with Mbappe? I'm really interested, people watching, what do you think? Like, is Mbappe going to sign a new deal or will he go? What do you think? Let us know, guys. Comments down below. Thank you for watching. This is Box to Box Football. Please like, share and subscribe and we will see you next time.